Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And so today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day video and I'm so excited, it's my first Valentine's Day video. And I actually did one a while back, but I just wanted to kind of celebrate because yesterday, February 3rd, 2017, was my one year anniversary on YouTube, which is so, so crazy. So if you want to skip past this intro, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna kind of talk about my journey and everything. Just thank you guys for being um, such loyal supporters. So yeah. So I posted my first video on February 3rd, 2016, which sort of seems so long ago and sort of seems like it was just yesterday, which is really crazy. But I just want to thank each and every one of you because we were so close to 1,000 subscribers. The fact that 1,000 people watch my videos and have subscribed, almost 1,000, is crazy. And I promise there's going to be a giveaway, so be sure to subscribe. But I just have come so far. I got a new camera. I've kind of changed my room. I've kind of changed. And I feel like you guys have seen me kind of grow up in a way, which I think is really cool. And so, yeah, I remember I used to film videos at night with my lights on. I was really orange and pale and my camera was like really pixelated and now I have a nice camera and I'm learning just different ways to film. And I really really love how this video turned out and so I thought it was a perfect one to have and I was going to post it on Friday but it was kind of a big day Friday so I like didn't but I was kind of busy so yeah. But I'm just so excited and I just want to thank each and every one of you who've been here, whether you've been here since 900 or you've been here since 100, or whatever the case may be. Just thank you so much for all of your support and I just love you guys to pieces. And so yeah, um, this video is going to be for snacks, DIYs, and gifts and a little bit of decor. So definitely keep watching if you want to see this and without further ado, let's get started. To make your paper fortune cookies, the first thing you're going to need are these templates and these I will link down below. I just found on a website from Pinterest. And then you can choose to print out the sayings that are on there or you can just use, choose to use your own. And you're also going to need some scissors, some glue, and then you're just going to start by cutting out all of the little circle things. And I cut out a bunch because I wanted to make them for all my friends, but if you just want to do one, then all you need to cut out is one sheet of paper. So this is what it should look like when you've cut out all of yours, and I just love these colors. My favorites are the pinks and the reds. Okay, so if I'm being 100% honest with y'all, it's a little bit harder than you would think, and it took me a few tries, but it's definitely so cute and worth it. So just start by taking your little circle and folding it in half, and just creasing the center, not all the way, just the center. Then what you're going to do is after you do that, you're just going to turn it 90 degrees, and then the line will be going um, vertically. And you're just going to sort of press your pointer finger and kind of like make it into a fortune cookie. It'll kind of fold. As you can see, kind of once you keep pushing, it will fold how it looks like a fortune cookie. And then you can just put in your secret message. Once you put in your secret message and you're completely done, just take your glue and just glue the inside and hold it together. I actually just used a piece of tape just like temporarily so it would stay and then I took it off once the glue is dry. But then it looks super cute and if you need to, you can use some glue to reinforce the back. But I think it looks super cute and it's such a fun gift. your mini mailbox all you're going to need is some white sheets of paper a ruler and a pencil okay so i'll have the measurements on the screen as well but you're going to need to cut out three pieces of paper total you're going to need to cut out two three inch by one inch pieces and then a three inch by one and a fourth inch piece and honestly it's kind of iffy. You can really just do three inches by one inch for all of them if you want. I found that that's what I did and it worked just fine. But if you want to be super precise, then those are the measurements I would recommend. But also you can use any different color fun paper if you want. I just went with white because I ended up coloring, covering it with washi tape later on. But it's totally up to you. So for one of the three inch by one inch pieces, just use your scissors to kind of curl the edges. 
So for the candy, you kind of need to have a shape like this. So I use these Jolly Rancher Chews, but in the picture they use these like Hershey Nugget things that also worked and they just stacked two on top of each other. I just stacked three Jolly Rancher Chews on top of each other and it actually worked really well. Plus I like chewy stuff more than chocolate. And so all you're going to do is just use a tiny dot of glue just to kind of make a crease and then set it up on the bottom. Hopefully this makes sense. Just kind of watch what I'm doing and you'll probably understand better than the way I'm explaining it because I'm terrible at explaining stuff. Then you're just going to take your slightly longer piece and you're just going to glue it on the sides. And I actually burned myself in this clip, so if you're wondering why I kind of like dropped it or like freaked out or whatever, that is why. But you're just going to use the longer piece and just kind of like circle it around so it makes like a dome type thing. So then this is what it looks like and so I decided to cover it with washi tape to add a little pizzazz. Then you are finished and while it is super time consuming, it's super cute and totally worth it for your closest friends. For the super easy heart decor, all you're going to need is some red sheets of paper and a ruler and pencil. You will also need a stapler. So basically all you're going to do is just cut off the paper in sections or strips of one inch. So then what you're going to do is just take four strips of the red paper and you're just going to staple them together. And again, it's one of those things where I'm terrible at explaining it, but hopefully you guys will catch on because it's really not that difficult. So you're just going to take the four and you're just going to take the bottom two or the outside two and put them together to make like a heart. And then you're going to put two more on each side or one on each side, I guess. So two total. And again, watch what I'm doing and you'll understand. And you're just going to complete this throughout the whole thing and just keep doing it and I'll make as many hearts as you want. For these delicious Valentine's Day cookies, you're just going to need this heart mold pan thing. You're also going to need some Pam and a spoon. You're also, of course, going to need some cookie dough. So I have some Oreo chocolate chip cookie dough that is actually the bomb. So just start by pamming your pan. And so I would definitely be really careful if you're going to use something like this and just pam it a ton because it was kind of difficult to get them out. So all you're going to do is just start by scooping the cookie dough into the heart shapes and pressing it down. Then just bake for whatever time and temperature it says on the box. So I kept the decorating pretty basic and all I did was just took the icing and just spread it on to the cookies with a pretty generous amount I would say. And then I just added some sprinkles to one and then M&Ms to the other. And then the other one I left without icing because my family members are weird and don't like icing. So yeah. Once the heart-shaped cookies are cool and out of the oven, you can start to decorate. So all you're going to need for that is just some icing and then whatever decorations or like toppings you want. I just use M&Ms and the same sugar sprinkles. For these chocolate dipped animal crackers, you're just going to need some sugar sprinkles, some melted chocolate of your choice, preferably Valentine's Day colored, and then of course some delicious animal crackers. So this is so simple and perfect for a party. Literally all you do is just take the animal crackers and then just dip it and sort of turn it over to get the excess chocolate off and then you dip it in the sprinkles and it looks so, so cute. They're so delicious and so easy. I literally made like 20 in less than a minute. guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also if you recreate any of these diys no one really does this i know but just tag me or um use the hashtag diying to try and i'll definitely check them out because i would love 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 to see you guys recreate them because i think that'd be so cool that people actually use my diys and i just love how it turned out this whole video and just everything and also be sure to subscribe because we are so 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 close to 1k and i really cannot wait for it literally i think i'm gonna like kind of freak out because that's so crazy that like a thousand people watch my videos or going to watch my videos and it just blows my mind so yeah thank you so much for your constant support love and sweet comments and rest pieces